Welcome back to Tech Talks Podcast. I'm Tech Wright, your host, and here we are back in our book, um, Perfect Love by Joyce Meyer. And we are going through chapter um, um, a week, like one chapter a week. And so if you're following along, great. If you decided to, in the middle of the, this book um, that I'm in, if you decided to go ahead and get it and read it for yourself, um, don't worry. These are all recordings and you can always go back and just kind of read and follow along in this podcast. Or if, if you just decided not to get the book, that's fine too. That's um, not, you're not obligated to. I just appreciate you being here with me and ha having me um, be with you during your day. And uh, I'm so grateful for all of that. So thank you so much. Okay, so we are in chapter six. Um, let's see, let me get my book open. Chapter six, The Pain of Rejection. I think it's safe to say that at some point we have experienced some kind of rejection and the hurt that it can um, take place in our hearts. Okay, so dear Lord, I pray that um, whoever is watching and listening, that you would help um, help us to receive your love more and more in our hearts and that you would cultivate um, a good conversation and good seeds of your goodness thrown in our our soil, Lord, and uproot what needs to be uprooted. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so I have on page 68, um, real quick, the, the quote is, the devil uses the pain of rejection to try to prevent us from living the life God intends for us to live. I'm sure the world is filled with people who are dissatis dissatisfied and unfulfilled. They let the fear of man's rejection determine their destiny instead of following their own heart. And in effort to keep other people happy, they have ended up unhappy themselves. I believe that is so true, you guys. So true. <clears throat> and to kind of help bounce from that, I decided to go ahead to page 70. Don't let someone else's bad behavior toward you make you feel bad about yourself. I realize that it is easier said than done because our emotions and feelings get involved and emotional pain is actually one of the worst kinds of pain we experience. We can take a pain pill to get rid of physical pain, but no pills are available for emotional pain. That is why we must recognize it for what it is and know that if we don't feed it by giving into it, it will eventually fade and go away. You can't help feeling it, but you don't have to let it determine your actions. And real quick to kind of help bounce from that idea is, you know, we've all experienced some kind of hurt. We've all experienced some kind of lie connected to that hurt. And it's sometimes we, we have tendencies to rehearse that memory in our heads thinking, how could I have changed this? What could I have said? Oh my gosh, if if I ha if I had that chance again, this is what I would say. This is what I would do. Um, you know, how many times have you kind of thought, oh man, I thought about what that person said and this is what I should have come back and said with. You know, we've all had those moments. We've all rehearsed those bad memories and we've all done that. But it is actually stealing your joy, taking up your time and energy. And I think the best thing we can do for ourselves and for maybe even our children, if we completely, completely have that commitment saying to ourselves, no, I'm not going to think that way. No, I'm going to stop worrying about that. No, I'm not going to give into that power. No, I'm not going to dwell on that thought. No, I'm not going to entertain that thought anymore. I'm tired of it controlling me and keeping me from my destination. The minute you say no and choose to commit to that no, I think the better off you'll be. And I'm learning to just say no to myself because I realized the little no's in life can get you to the big yes. And the big yes that I'm looking for is more joy, peace, and love. And the only way I know I can do that, one, is not just on my own, but two, I need Jesus and you need Jesus. 
That's the truth. We cannot do this by our own might and by our own power. We need the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ to help us to say no, to have courage to say no, to help us humble ourselves and relinquish and say, I, I need you, God. I'm not right in this. I need you to come in and lift my head on this moment and forgive me for trying to take control. Forgive me for not believing that you can do this for me or having a little angst here and there and maybe actually finding myself distrusting you because I'm trying to, again, control me and, and them or whatever. And that is okay. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with the Lord. And that is the, the best thing you could do for yourself. I want to read <clears throat> to you on page 71. No matter how many uh, no matter how many other people love you, if you don't love yourself, you will still feel lonely. <sighs> I have struggled in my life for many years the pain of loneliness. And I think it's because I feel like, well, who can really truly get me? And if they really got me, and if they heard what's in my head, do you think they would accept me or reject me? So I, therefore, I keep to myself. And a lot of that is because I'm ashamed of myself. A lot of it is because I sometimes don't trust myself. And sometimes I I just get in this swamp of um, self-pity. And sometimes I get in the swamp of bitterness and I know better. I know that's not good and I'm ashamed of it and I'm guilty for that. So that's why I have tendencies to pull back and I become lonely. But then she says that some of this is don't reject yourself. Don't reject yourself. I think some of our dis disordedness is we don't really have a, a, a love for ourselves. And I'm guilty for that too. But you know what the good news is? The Lord is saying to me, and I think he might be saying to some of you, I love you. I want you to think like me. Does Jesus hate himself? Does Jesus reject himself? Because that also is not the part of the mind of Christ that he has to model for us. And if he doesn't think that way, then we shouldn't either. And that's something that the Lord has brought to my attention. And I hope it helps you today. That is all I have for you guys today. Until next time, be embraced by grace and let God love you. I'll see you here. Come back on Mondays. That's usually when I upload again. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.